I'm now testing the saddle. I put the saddle onto the top of the or the relief area in the middle, so to speak, which should be unworn and machined uh, to the same uh, the same time when it machined all the rest. So it should be squared up and parallel and, and flat. However, I've gotten to doubt this. So, um, but let's see. Anyway, if we zero in here, which I've done, I see that the wear from this area that is not been in use I mean the front way which is here this is a headstock end front way has been riding against this and to the uh, area here so this area to the line here I mean and this area is then unworn well, I know that this surface like here and uh, there up to the you see the line that are that is the unworn area when it's riding on the narrow guide bed is towards that end so it's just like this so it leaves this area over here the blue, the blue dot now pristine same goes for this one and then this also comes into contact there with the gib of course so it's not that much but anyway so i know that i have to take that down and i see that going down we only have one hundredth of a millimeter and we go uh, actually towards lower and lower and when i expect this to be the same here this to be unworn and and also this to be well, the, the the rear way shouldn't be worn because tool pressure will be here. So then I find that it's actually lower and lower by by a lot. So I think we have to shim up here uh, or test in another way because I suspect that it is not actually uh of equal height so i'll test that also how much i blew it up and to test this i mounted the saddle onto the bed again and i will run an indicator back and forth to see if this is flat or not so starting at the middle i run the indicator towards the one end and i can see that the needle is moving in the plus direction and again over here it runs in the, in the minus or so it's lower here and uh, higher here so then i have confirmed that the front of the relief area of the top of the saddle is higher than the than the rear so I will shim this up so that I can measure on these unworn areas I mean the front rear rides only the front way from here to here and the rear from here to here so these areas are should be the same and are unworn so when I test it here now I have an error of four thousand four hundredths of a millimeter so i'll shim this up here now i've used a shim so that when i zero here the same reading here and then i can verify the actual wear uh, which is one and a half thousandths let me see uh, to the reference here zero one two and a half hundreds i mean here is zero again and uh, the same so it's it's not much worn it's roughly 
Uh, call that 1.5 and then this one, something in that region. Uh, okay, not much. Go a little bit in, just verifying that it is equal in that direction too. Which you see it's not. So this uh, reference area is really needs to be lifted here also. Hmm. Not much of a reference, I think. Anyway, we will uh, be able to actually set zero here at one point. Like that, and then go out to the same. You see, ah, a little bit just so we, difficult to zero, zero there, and one hundreds. So it's not much. The same could be done here. Go in like this, for instance zero and then out here and there is no nowhere so there is a little bit wear here but not much and uh, I have to scrape everything to the lowest area which is here so I have to scrape from here and to here there, there is a, a small small difference in height there indicating where the difference goes to zero uh, where towards the the rear end of the saddle both sides here zero and up to roughly uh, one and a half thousandths of an inch or roughly then three hundredths of a millimeter there is also more wear as expected on the front uh, way because of tool pressure and uh, and uh, and um, yeah you can also see there's a strip here where dirt has uh, gotten under uh, under the carriage and has uh, actually scored away so as expected a little bit wear here the lowest point was uh, here and so I had like uh, wear here and then the most here and I had some wear here not much but most here as expected I've now zeroed the indicator on this um, side of the saddle towards the bed. I find that this is flat. So um, I'm satisfied with that reading. Or actually, it's not, it's just a little bit higher. Hmm. And you can also see that. It blues up only on the ed edges here. The difference is not that much. Uh, I mean, the original scraping is still present here. Beautiful with this. Although beautiful, I have to scrape it down here a little bit. It's just, uh, uh, well, in the region of uh, one thousandth of, of, an, of an inch, two hundredths of a millimeter. Now, what I will do is, to, of course, to measure the dot tails. And that I can do by um, using a pair of pins. I use 10 millimeter end mills, broken off or damaged. Put them here. Measure.
same here and in the middle so that will give an indication of the compounded wear from the flats and the dull tails <clears throat> and I want to measure the, the Myford saddle because it's uh, this is uh, um, deeper or um, protrudes over that surface and that surface I can't just put it down here like that so <coughs> I put it on some parallels I know that they are flat to the table zero it in here and then I can run it and it's totally flat it's ground flat both of them so then I can use that and I zero it see if it repeats it does yeah I bumped it into the dot tail so of course I have to reset And once more yes and be careful this time and now I can run it and see that it is actually zero all the way until we get to the very end here where it is two hundreds or one and a half high and uh, the same goes for this side. I also tried the same on the table and uh, I all and uh, found the same to the using the um, the guideways and I was blew it up so I know that it's 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 a true measurement. Then I suppose that these are they are solid they're also um, the Marco what is the let's say the original surface and level uh, so or plane then I will measure this one in relation to that because I now think that I can assume that this can be referenced like that so I zero the indicator here out and see if it repeats it does and then I move it across and I see it's zero is it zero this way no clue no it rises no it lowers it so it's high here okay and around seeing if so it's about 10 hundredths of a millimeter lower and a little bit lower so this is the lowest side by by some uh, if we zero there if I put zero there then this here is well it's plus one this is plus 10 and also plus 10 so up here we have plus 10 same there 
and uh, we had plus one and a half say two here to the zero in the middle and this side 